Shakespeare wrote, All the world's a stage, and all the men and women merely players. Every player is its own role, and its own fashion. But the number of roles one can play is limited by numerous factors, such as physical abilities, gender, culture, religion, age. Now we are in 2021, and according to Statista, 60% of the world population is digitally connected. The multiple lockdowns and restrictions caused by COVID-19 bonded humans with their gadgets even more. The study conducted by Data Reportal revealed that an average internet user spends almost seven hours per day in the digital space across multiple devices. We have such a representative audience here today, so let's test how true this data actually is. Please raise your hand if this number of hours sounds accurate to you. Well, I guess the stats aren't lying. Cyberspace allowed the life of every human to earn a new dimension, a blank canvas for expressing our inner self in all of its diversity. We tend to think of fashion as tangible goods, so how did it manage to become part of cyberspace? To shine some light on it, we need to go back to the origins of computers and the birth of gaming in the second half of the 20th century. As gamers immersed further in the metaverse, they realized that their individuality needed to be reflected there. In the early 1970s, two guys at NASA invented a multiplayer game called Maze Wars. In this game, a player was reflected as an eyeball, making a mark in history as the very first avatar. Did you know that avatars are actually older than what they appear? While the 2009 film popularized this word, it actually derives from the ancient language Sanskrit. Avatar refers to the earthly incarnations of the god Vishnu. And well, for the player, it is his digital soul. Among the famous avatars, there is, for example, little Michaela. She is the first avatar influencer who now counts over 3 million followers on Instagram. And well, just a few weeks ago, Fox Entertainment announced the launch of the very first avatar singing competition. In this show, singers perform as their computer-generated extensions. So, Avatars allowed humans to be identified in cyberspace. And then it was time to play dress up. We started by playing video games. Now, video games are playing with us. Our avatars have subdued us. An entirely new process has begun. The humanization of the digital world. Fashion has always been among the main forms of our self-expression. Gamers grew emotional connections with, to their avatars and started dressing themselves in the games that they were playing. They started actually spending real money on skins. Essentially, what a skin is, it's a digital asset meant to beautify your avatar in the game. An interesting example that I would like to share with you is the game called Fortnite. In this game, just by selling skins, the game makes over $1 billion in, in revenue every single year. That's quite an impressive number, isn't it? So at that point, I wondered, why is the fashion industry not taking any action when there is clearly a demand for a fashion product within the metaverse? And well, it was at that, po at that moment when I co-founded Frax Paris, a technological communication agency that encourages fashion brands to play games. It also helps to understand the preferences of their future consumers. The very first fashion brand to actually offer both real physical collections as well as skins was the very famous French Maison Louis Vuitton. At the end of 2019, the brand collaborated with League of Legends, one of the most popular games in the world. What they offered was both a physical collection as well as skins for the in-game avatars. And in the same year, a brand was inspired to create skins only this time for real people. 
This was the birth of the very first digital fashion house, the Fabricant. Unlike the traditional designers who are using needle and thread, cyberspace designers are using 3D modeling programs, such as Close 3 d And actually what they do is they fit a garment on the picture of their client. You can see here an example with my burning sneakers. They look quite fire, don't they? After this first brand was launched, many more brands started to jump on the bandwagon. And in 2020, DressX was launched. This platform established itself as the very first e-commerce that unites digital fashion designers from all over the world and sells purely digital clothes and accessories. Gamers' desire to purchase skins pushed fashion towards digitalization. And uh, it also represented a big opportunity for fashion influencers because they often used to buy fashion with the only purpose of sharing their outfits on social media. And we will all agree that this is quite an unsustainable practice. Over the last decades, fashion was one of the weapons used to fight against our planet. According to the World Economic Forum, it produces 10% of all carbon emissions. Unfortunately, our self-expression often came at the expense of our ecosystem, committing irreversible crimes against nature. What digital fashion does, it allows us to save the planet and fight alongside multiple sustainable initiatives. Digital fashion empowers creativity. It is not a subject to the laws of physics. It knows no boundaries of age, gender, culture, or disability. It really empowers its wearer and helps to humanize the metaverse. I would like to, to return to Shakespeare. He was saying that people play seven roles in their one life. But how many roles could we play in cyberspace? And how many new lives could we live there? The possibilities are endless.